So hi folks, I managed to collect some Sion wood from the plum tree. Here it is, ready to go in the fridge and labelled. Uh, I'm hoping that, well, I'm guessing I've got enough there for what I want. I've got some rootstock with which I won't be able to graft to for uh, until 2016 with luck, providing it to uh, all roots up. And I've got to prune the plum, plum tree, so I've collected some wood. If I can find some better wood, or some more wood, I'll have some in reserve because as it's it be my first time trying to graft and I expect lots of failures. <laughs> well I don't expect that but that can happen. Now uh, I've got some extra wood I'll show you, uh, well you'll see, I'll get on with it. Quick look at the veg patch, <laughs> still got some of this kale, we're still picking on it, it's uh, pretty much frozen now but it's uh, I'm going to see if it'll survive, see if it picks up after when spring comes. See what happens with that. Under that big pile there is some Swiss chard. Which again, I'm going to see if that survives. But what I'm going to do now is get on with cutting this tree. Getting some Sion wood. This plant here, I've got to get rid of. I'm going to build me tomato house on the back of this greenhouse. Oh, on the back of greenhouse, on the back of this uh, garage, which might end up being a greenhouse I can close it in so I've got to get rid of that now my wife like this it puts out big fruit like plums but they're not edible they're as hard as stone it puts out some nice red flowers though early in the season for bees so what I'm going to do is although I'm getting rid of it I'll uh, take some cuttings off it and try and get it get a couple of starts off it so we can put it somewhere else in the garden but it's extremely spiky it's just one of the things I hate about it but I don't like I don't hate it but one of the things I don't like is that it's, it's extremely spiky. And this is the plum tree I'm going to take some Sion wood from. Uh, it really wants to prune desperately. I've got to prune a lot of stuff out of it. I don't want to get that done today. But I'm going to try and collect some good Sion for next year for to go on that other rootstock that's growing. So what I've done is I've clipped some of this, these branches off and I'm going to try and collect some good sea wood from it. Now, good thing about having this much wood, <laughs> apart from the, the trees not being pruned for a few, two or three years at least, is that I can practice. And what I mean by practicing, what, what I don't use as sea wood here, or what I can't use, then I can practice some graphs using this what's left here in the comfort of my cellar and trying to get it right now I would have never thought of this but I've because I've actually got around to collecting this now I've been watching well catching up and looking at some grafting videos and uh, Stephen Hayes if you don't know him a lot I'm sure a lot of you guys do know him but Stephen Hayes got a, some pretty good grafting videos and in one of his videos he's doing it in his well in, in a room in his house or wherever and uh, he's practicing so that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to do some practicing I won't bore you with that if you want to look at how to do it properly go and look at Stephen Hayes' stuff because he's got some excellent uh, videos up on fruit trees so I'll have a look and see what wood I can find that I can cut so I've just took a few bits off the off what I've cut now that's in my mind if this is the first time I've tried this I'm just trying to you know collect some and and document it as much but i'll share i'm sharing it obviously because if anybody knows better i would uh, really appreciate any advice but i'm assuming that's no good for because it's got all this these growths on these branches so i'm going to discard that <coughs> that's a little bit more than a pencil thick from a pencil thick so i'm going to try and use that and cut out what i can and how I'm going to store it is I'm going to wrap it in a damp paper towel, put it in cling film and sneak it in behind that uh, jar of 10 year old pickles into the fridge where it cannot be found, maybe. <coughs> I will ask my wife first. But basically from what I understand, that if I 
cut that there at the slant. That's behind a bud. I've cut it off at the slant there so that doesn't die back when it's uh, when it does actually get grafted onto a tree. And probably can't use that bit, so I'll snip that off there. So I've got like five buds on each of them and that's what I'll be putting, that sort of size I'm going to be going for to go into the fridge. And I'll carry on cutting these up. Incidentally I've sterilised these, these have been sterilised, I've got with alcohol and uh, in the tray as well. So I'm trying to avoid as much as I can, any problems. Now what I've got there is ten. Now I'm going to try and get some more off, uh, what I've, off it would have got and then wrap it up because basically these I'm going to be grafting onto my other rootstock that I've got which is a, a wild plum. I haven't been to collect the um, apricot tree yet which I'm, on, I'm wanting to do the next week at least. Basically I've collected this now, this wood is dormant, it's got to be dormant, it's minus, uh, I think it's minus four outside. I got sent home yesterday from work early due to the wind chill factor and working at 80 foot with winds so <laughs> so I was I was quite happy about that so this is dormant wood and that should be perfect now for storage so guys I've got a couple of paper towels I'm just going to wet them down mist And I'm hoping that's going to be enough. And what I'll do is I'll put them in. I've got 14 now, I've got to prune tree, so i just have a look how long they are. Take a bit more off them. Some of them are a bit, maybe a bit small, but I've got to prune tree, so I'm sure I can get some more. But if anybody knows, got any or any comments about what I'm doing here and how I'm doing it if you know better let me know because this is my first time as I've said before I probably could do with a bit more water quite a few videos over the last couple of days because I've been planning on doing this for a while so there's a lot of stuff out there I'm just sort of showing you what I'm doing and if obviously if any of you guys have got any experience with this sort of stuff And if you're like me, <laughs> go in there, uh, make sure you've got all the materials you need in the cupboard first. I had to go out and buy this because I hate this stuff. Is there any women who can rip that off straight on clean film? Look at that, look at that picture of that. anybody knows how to use cling film correctly don't hesitate to tell me I might just put another little bit around that but basically that's what I'm going to put in the fridge I'm going to put a label on it as uh, plum because I will have some well I will take another bundle off of plum 
and uh, I'll also have the apricot. So that hopefully will start. Be I will be able to graft onto my uh, onto the other rootstock. And uh, with the wood that I've got left over, I'm actually going to practice some grafts here now and see if I can sort of up my chances of getting it right as I'm to put them onto actual trees now. I've got a few knives. This is an interesting knife actually. <laughs> I found that walking dogs in wood. So, but it wants to sharpen. I've got the good old Swiss Army knife. And I've got this with a brand new blade in it. So I'm going to practice doing some cuts and some graphs. I'm not going to show you that. Look at Stephen Hayes. Um, but that might give me a better chance, obviously, uh, in spring, in a couple of months. So that's it. And any uh, advice or anything, you know, any comments, I would really appreciate. So nice to be nice. Thank you.